It's a battery on steroids. To explain, I need to get it out of the box and just show you because it is honestly awesome. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see this here. Oh. So basically, these are the cables as to which you would be able to plug this thing into a solar system. So those right here would plug into your solar panel array, which is obviously taking energy from the sun. And then with this little connector here, it would then charge this device. I assume this is for charging this device off of your car as well, which you could do via 12 volts with the included cable here. So. It's heavy. I'm gonna say this is probably 10 to 15 kilograms. You've got four here, UK sockets, all at 230 to 40 volts. Down here, we've actually got a uh, cigarette lighter, so you could power car accessories, different things like that. So like we mentioned earlier, you could plug that XT60 connector into there, and then that would go off to your solar array to charge this device. And then obviously the port next to that is just your main one for charging this uh, via the mains, which is the fastest way to obviously charge it. Around this side, press and hold to turn on or off. Okie dokie. <gasps> there we go. Okay, one phone on charge. iPad on charge. Uh, with so many ports on this, four phones here. Okay, S20 on charge. Old Honor phone on charge. Huawei on charge. The Google on charge. Okay, so we've got an iPad, an iPhone, and four other Android phones on charge. My laptop. Okay, so this is the first of our four UK sockets. Hey. Laptop charging. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten devices all plugged in, all ranging from small power things like phones to mid power things like iPads to MacBooks to actual gaming laptops to a soft box. So we are currently pulling 300 watts. I can't believe all this stuff is on charge. Let's go and build a gaming setup in a field. Okay, so as you can see, our setup so far is on a little bit of a wonk, but at the moment, I think that's the least of our worries. It's all part, it's all part of the adventure. It's it? all part of the adventure. Okay, the last few pieces. We have my Logitech G Skill keyboard. That's Matt. Obviously some headphones, Astro A50s. Okay, so as you can see, we have completely, well, round here look, filled our EcoFlows for power sockets. And we also have a router here obviously for some internet connections so let's start up our back bunch of sockets i heard it go i heard it go bro <laughs> oh, wow. 138 watts 165 watts screens oh my god <laughs> what are we playing bit of apex okay the one last thing we need to complete this setup is an internet connection so for that i have this ethernet cable it is literally like we're at home Ethernet in. Okay, so unfortunately, I'm copping out of this screen because, well, basically I forgot the power cable for it, but we didn't really have the space for it anyway. It doesn't really matter. Look at that. Who needs more? Who needs more than this? That is a 34 inch <laughs> ultra wide, mate. Sorted, look at that. Now we've, now we've got room for the speakers and everything properly. <laughs> look, we've got internet. We've got actual internet out here as well. Let's do a speed test. Right, well, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's safe to say we do some gaming then. Okay, so it's time to take this as seriously as you can actually take a gaming setup that's been built in an abandoned warehouse. It's giving us here with 73% left, four hours runtime, which is, uh, yeah, pretty, you know, a pretty long gaming session if you ask me. <laughs> Jesus. But you know, bucket list stuff, isn't it? Building a gaming setup outside? I mean, it's on my bucket list. It's not now, I've ticked it off. Done. Now, I've been taking it around my house and there literally isn't anything that I've struggled to power with this. The most power hungry thing I think I own is this kettle at about 1,800 watts. Now, I've turned the unit on. Inside of here, there is a 1,260 watt hour battery. Now, one thing I really like is obviously you've got your DC power at the front, which you can turn on 
with that switch, turns on all the USB, and then at the back here, we've got our AC switch. Now, you'll be able to hear the fans ramp up inside of this EcoFlow, and that is because we are literally drawing 1,700 watts from the battery inside of here. The other thing I really like is that other devices like this that have a large capacity usually require a big charging brick to charge them up. Like we've already mentioned, you can charge this with solar, you can charge it by your car, or you can just top it up via the mains just with a kettle plug, pardon the pun. Plugs it straight in and it gives you a full battery this thing full in one and a half hours. Now EcoFlow actually have a few lines of product, this being the Delta product line, and there's a smaller one than this, and they go much bigger. Now the Delta product line is basically for, well, it's aimed at actual home backup. So let's say if your actual power goes out, this thing can power your entire home. Whereas the River line of products is more for your run and gun sort of on the go. I need a big battery to power my laptop, and therefore you get the River stuff. This is more for serious backup. You can just really tell with this product that EcoFlow have spared absolutely no expense, all the way from, well, the rubber grip on the bottom to stop this thing from sliding around to the separate isolated power supplies for both DC and AC on their corresponding sides. If you've got this, it's gonna do the job and it's gonna do it well. I think EcoFlow are really onto something here and they also make a whole range of smart home products so you can actually make these things power your entire house, which is something I want to look at in the near future because this thing is honestly awesome. For the first 20 of you guys that click the link in the description, there will be a cheeky coupon code for you down there. Like I say, more links below that like button. But for now guys, this has been the EcoFlow Delta. It's an awesome piece of kit and I really recommend you guys check it out. Anyway, my name's been Alex, this has been TechFlow, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.